Hey friend, welcome back to the channel. Welcome if you're new here. I am Crystal and what you see in front of me is my Shop My Stash for next month. I am going to show you swatches of everything that I pulled out, but if you want to see me go through the drawers and get everything together, then stay tuned. Okay, friend, I am just going to start in the order that I apply my makeup and I always start with a primer. I am so tempted to pull out a primer that I've used before, but I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to try something new. Um, I guess I can go with this NARS Soft Matte Primer. I think we'll go with this. I am going to pull out three primers. I want to pull out two drugstore and then one high end. So that'll be my high end. And so let's look through these and see what we can pull out. This primer is actually new to my collection. It's from e.l.f. It's one of the putty primers. This is the vitamin C. So let's give this one a try. And next, let's pull out an older primer that I've had for a while. And I need to see if it's something I want to keep in my collection. So let's, let's go with this NYX. This is NYX Pore Filler Primer. So I think these three will be what we go with. I also want to try this primer. I haven't used this in a long time. This is the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. So yeah, let's pull out this one too. That way I know if I'm going to keep it in my collection or declutter it. After I do primer, I move on to foundation. And I have some foundations in mind. When I went through my makeup collection, the foundation part of the collection... I saw some in here that I haven't used in such a long time and I wanted to give them a try. I'm looking for the NARS, NARS foundation. I really want to try that. Um, I guess for drugstore, I'll pull out this CoverGirl Matte Made foundation. So we'll go with that. I plan to do two drugstore and one high end so I'm also going to pull out this Colourpop Pretty Fresh foundation we'll go with this one and then I'm looking for the NARS so I know the NARS is in one of these drawers here it is we're going to go with the NARS foundation so yeah that's that after foundation we go in with the concealer and this is my concealer drawer I'm going to pull out three concealers as well. I think one will be this Too Faced Born This Way in the color tan. I'm going to go with this one. And I want to pull out a drugstore one. So I haven't used this one before. This is the NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum. This one like it's going to be pretty bright, so I don't know. We'll, we'll keep it. And then let's find another drugstore. I think I'll go with this one. This is from L'Oreal. It's the L'Oreal True Match in medium deep. I haven't used this one in a long time. We're going to see if it is still any good and if we want to keep in our collection. So we're going to pull this one. And I think I want to go with one more, one more, one more. Mm. What do I, I didn't know I had two of these. Hmm. Okay. What shades do I have? A, A9 and A70. Okay. We're not going to pull that today. Let's go with. I don't know, friend. Do you see one in here that you want me to pick up? I feel like I want to do something like this. One of these pencil ones. So this is from e.l.f. And it's in medium deep. And it's kind of like a 
pencil. We're gonna do some swatches, so yeah, we'll we'll go with that. We'll see what these do and decide if they're gonna stay in our collection or not. So after concealer, we go in with a bronzer. So this is the bronzer drawer. And I want to try some bronzers that I haven't tried before. So I think I'll go in with this Morphe bronzer. And it's in Mocha Moment. And that's what it looks like. I'm going to do swatches of all these things for you. And then I also want to go in with... Let's try this one. This is from... Physician's Formula. I haven't used this one. It's been in my collection for a while. So we'll pull out this one. And then I also want to do like a cream. Oh, wait. Elf. Elf had a cream one recently. I had a cream bronzer from Elf. Let me find that one. And I think that's the one I want to go with. But the elf cream bronzer we're gonna go with this one that color is looking a little bit brown so let's also pull this this is from Uma Beauty so we'll go with these we'll need a setting powder so I think I want to go with two drugstores and one high end so I think for, I'm just going to pick one, friend. We're going to pick and see what we got. This is something from MAC. So we're going to go with this MAC in dark tan. And then let's find one from the drugstore. I really don't have them separated in any type of order. They're just in here randomly. So let's try these Maybelline ones. I haven't used these in a long time. So this is the Maybelline MAC. And poreless and 355 coconut. I feel like that may be too deep, so let's, let's pull out both of these. Both of these for Maybelline. One is in the matte and poreless, and one's just the regular, so we'll give both of these a try. Okay, the eyeshadow palette is gonna be the fun, the fun, fun, fun one I want to go with. And I think I want to try this. Too Faced Cinnamon Swirl, only because it's this time of the year. I think this one will be pretty. I'm going to pull out this one. And then I do want to try a drugstore one that I haven't used in a long time or have never used. So let's see what's in the other drawer. Okay, let's pull out a couple from this drawer. So I think maybe this Juvia's Place, the chocolates, will be kind of pretty for the fall. Let's see what she looks like. Oh, those are pretty. Okay, we're going to go with that one. And then I want to try another drugstore one that has a little bit of color to her. So let's go with, let's go with one of these. I'm not sure what these look like. The nudist, I think that's going to be like the neutral one. So let's see what this LA Girl Feverish, Get Feverish looks like. Oh, that's what the Get Feverish looks like. So that is a pretty one. So we'll pull out this one too. Now we're going to move on to blush. Blush, blush, blush. Um, What do I want to use from blush? What do I want to use for a blush? I know I want to pull out some cream blushes. 
let's try some of these that are new to my collection. Let's go in with this one from About Face. So we'll pull out this one. This one's in Smash. I think that'll be a pretty one. And let's go in with... I don't think my MAC blushes get enough love. So let's pull out a blush from MAC. So let's see what we have here. This is MAC and it's raisin. I always use raisin. Let's go with this MAC blush in format. Mm, we're going to go with format. I'm not sure. I forgot what format looks like. But we'll pull her out and give her a swatch. And then let's also go in with, let's try an old blush. An old blush so I can see if I want to keep it in my collection. Let's go with one of these from Wet n Wild. We're going to go with this pearlescent pink. So, yeah. So now we have three blushes. Let me pick one more. One more blush. Only because I want to have some options with the blush. So these two are new to my collection. So maybe we can pull out one of these. Let's go with this one from LA Girl. And it's in the color Velour. So we'll go with this one. So really like two creams, two powders. So yeah. Highlighters. Let's see what we want to choose as a highlighter. I think I do want to try one of these liquid highlighters. Um, I haven't used them before. This is from, what brand is this? I'm not sure what brand it is, but we're going to swatch it and see what we think about it. So we'll choose one liquid highlighter and then we'll choose a powder highlighter. This one looks pretty. This is from Kiko and it's in Divine. I think we'll do this Kiko one. And then how about a cream one too? We'll pull out this one in bronze from Amuse. Let's look in here for a loose setting powder to set the concealer under our eye. I think I want to pull out, do we want to try this Revolution? I feel like this is more for all over the face, not really like under the eye. I want something a little bit brighter. So maybe I could try just this Black Radiance and it is in... What shade is this? Mm, banana. Okay, we'll choose banana. So we're going to go with a high-end and a drugstore. So this will be our drugstore. And then for a high-end powder, let's go with... Mm, this one is new to the collection. This Uma Beauty, and it's in Honey. That's what it looks like. So we'll pull this one out. Okay, the last thing we need is a setting spray. So, what setting spray do I want to use? I have been wanting to try this one from e.l.f. It's the Stay All Night Micro Fine Setting Mist. So, we're going to choose this one. I'm only going to pull out two setting sprays. We're going to do a high-end and drugstore. So, that'll be our drugstore. And so, we need a high-end one. And what do we have? I don't think I have that many high-end ones. So let's pull out this one. This is from Benefit, the Professional Super Setter. So we'll go with this one. So I think I'm going to choose a couple of these from Juvia's Place. I do want to go with like a lipstick and a lip gloss. So all these are pretty much new to my collection. So I think I want to go with this brown one for sure. And then I also want to pick out 
maybe like a peachy nudie like one so maybe this one this one's in bronzed rose that's what it looks like and let's see don't want any of those I don't think I want any more of the Feel like you can't go wrong with a Fenty, but I'm not gonna go with the Fenty. I'm gonna choose this one. This is from Rare Beauty, and it is in Fearless. It looks very pretty for the fall. We're gonna go with that. Okay, friend, now that we have picked out everything, I am gonna go through everything that we're gonna have this month, and we're gonna do some swatches. I am still trying to figure out the best angle to do this. So we're going to go with this for now. Um, leave some comments below on what you think about it. Am I up too close? Do I need to scoot back? I don't know. Leave me some comments. I just want to get it the way you guys want to see it. So no more rambling. Let's just jump right in. I did pick out three primers this month. I did go with the Maybelline Baby Skin. This is one that is for your pores, instant pore eraser. So it doesn't do anything with mattifying or shine control. This is just strictly for pores. So we are going to see if it actually really helps these pores and we'll decide if we wanna keep it in our collection or not. This also is a primer that's for pores. It is the NYX Pore Filler. Um, I have been wanting to try this for a while. It is supposed to be a really good primer. I've heard good things about it. It's been in my collection. I never opened it, never tried it. So we're going to go ahead and give it a try this month. And then for my high-end primer, I'm going to go with this NARS Soft Matte Primer. So I may end up using both primers at the same time. Since those don't do anything for shine control, I may just, um, you know, use this one alongside one of the other ones. So I'm not sure, not sure how matte it's going to make me. It says a soft matte so i may be okay without mixing it um, with anything else so we shall see if you have this primer in your collection i've used it before leave me some comments below let me know what you think about it but yeah we're gonna go with this as our high end oh i forgot i had this primer in here as well this is the elf c bright putty primer and it's just the putty primer formula and it has a vitamin c um i haven't used this one I've heard great things about it. I will open it, show you what it looks like. It does have this yellow color to it. I'm not sure, um, let me just see what it feels like. Mm, it doesn't feel like silicone or anything. It actually feels just like a moisturizer of some sort. So we shall see how this does. So if I do end up mixing the NARS with a primer, it will probably be this e.l.f. CC primer, we're going to mix those together. So, yeah, that's the fourth primer that we have picked out for the month. After I do primer, I go in with a foundation. I did pick out three foundations this month. I went with the Makeup Forever HD Skin, and I have it in the shade 4Y60. So this is going to be the one I go with for high end. I guess this will be like a mid-range foundation, uh, but you can get it at Ulta. This is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Foundation, and I picked it up in the shade Medium Dark 148 Neutral. I don't know if you can see that here. There we go, Medium Dark 148 Neutral. That's what it looks like. The last foundation that I picked out for the month is going to be by CoverGirl. This is the True Matte Formula. I have it in T80. Um, it is a matte foundation. This was pretty popular when it first came out. Again, I purchased it, never used really it. Really not that shiny this time of the year. A more combination skin, um, normal to combination. So I'm not sure how matte this is going to be. But I definitely will probably mix this with the e.l.f. one just so it won't be too matte. 
but I am going to go ahead and swatch all three shades of the foundation just so you can see what they look like and we can compare the colors. And this is what the foundations swatch like. Mm, all quite different. Um, this first one is actually the ColourPop. And again, it is in the um, shade tan, medium dark tan 148. Uh, it's 148 in. It's supposed to be neutral. I am a neutral undertone, but this one is looking a little bit more peachy compared to the other two. So I'm not sure. Definitely going to have to finesse this one to make it work, but that's what it's looking like. Mm, I don't know. She might not be staying in the collection. This next shade here is from the CoverGirl T80, and this is also supposed to be a neutral um, family so it's looking warm or yellow compared to this peachy looking one but we'll see friend I don't know and then this last one I have used this one a couple of times and I really like it it is the makeup forever and it's the 4y60 and that's what it swatches like so kind of similar to the CoverGirl, so these two may be okay. The CoverGirl may work out, but I'm not so sure about this um, ColourPop. Uh, I don't know, but yeah, that is what they are swatching like. Next, we'll move on to concealers. I did pick out four concealers to use this month. The first one is this concealer from Too Faced Born This Way, and it's in the color tan. And I am going to give you some swatches. I also have the L'Oreal True Match. And it's in C6, 7, and 8. That's what it looks like. I have this e.l.f. concealer like pencil. And it is in medium dark. That's what medium dark looks like. I have used this one quite a bit. And then this last one is from NYX, the Bear With Me Concealer Serum. I think this is too light. When I received it at home, I was like, er, I don't know, but it's in medium. So yeah, let's swatch these and see what we think about these. And here is the swatches of the concealers. I have all different shades and undertones. So this is gonna be quite interesting to see. This first shade here, this first swatch is this one from e.l.f. in the medium deep. I've had this pencil for a while. I don't know if they still make this or not, but when I swatch it, it's still a creamy formula. So it's still good. It doesn't have a smell to it. So I'm going to give it a try. It is a good color for highlighting under the eye. So I think I'll get quite a bit of use of this one this month. The next one is the... Concealer from L'Oreal, the True Match Concealer. Again, it's in shade 678. It is more of my skin tone type of concealer. So if I use this one, it's going to be more for spot concealing. And I do have some spots on my face from breakouts this month. So I think it'll be used this month just to cover up some spots. The next one is the concealer from Too Faced. And um, it looks, it's a pretty good color for highlighting. Um, I think I'll probably get the most use out of this one this month. Only because um, I think I like this undertone a little bit better for highlighting than I do the e.l.f. one. So yeah, I'm, I'm liking this one. But it doesn't look like it's as much full coverage as the e.l.f. one is. So we'll have to see. And the last one is the... NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum. Um, it is quite bright um, for my skin tone, so it's gonna be a definite, dramatic, drastic under eye highlighter color. It depends on how the foundations look. If I have to, you know, finesse it a little bit, we may use this if any of these foundations oxidize, then I may have to use this to lighten it up. This is the four concealers that we're going to go with this month. So can't wait to see what we think about these.
I did pick out quite a few bronzers to use this month. So we're going to go with all of these. So let me just show you some swatches of them. This first one is from Morphe and it is in Mocha Moment. And this is what Mocha Moment looks like. And oh, that's going to be a good bronzer color for my skin tone. So let's swatch it. And that's what Mocha Moment looks like. I'm loving this one already because I love a bronzer with a red undertone for my skin color. So that one is going to be gorgeous. I love it. I love it. Next is this. Positions Formula Butter Bronzer, and it's in Endless Summer, and this is what Endless Summer looks like, and let's swatch Endless Summer. Um, it looks like it may be a good color, too. Let's see what... Mm, can't really see Endless Summer. It's not really swatching that good. Mm, I don't know. If I use this one, it may be more of the contour for the nose area because it's not really bronzing me. It's looking more like a highlighter. So I don't know. I may end up putting this in the highlighter drawer after the month is over, but that's what it's looking like. So we'll, we'll see. I don't know. This next bronzer is actually from Uma and uh, Uoma. I'm not sure how to pronounce this, but it is a highlighter and a sculptor in one. So I pulled it out for the bronzer, but I actually could use the highlighter in it as well. And this is what the bronzer shade looks like. Look how gorgeous that is. I would put that on my lips like a lipstick. <laughs> I mean, it's your makeup, friend. You can do whatever you want to do with your makeup, so... Wow, we have like all kind of color ranges here. So let's go ahead and swatch this e.l.f. putty bronzer as well. And this is in the color bronzed bell is what it's called. So let's swatch bronze bell. This is what it looks like. This is how it swatches. And friend you can't even see bronze bell bronze bell is my skin tone okay i mean you don't even see it on me at all this is how it swatches but when i put it on it's my exact skin color so you can't really see bronze bell but yeah that's what it's looking like mm. we're gonna keep it in the shop mustache this month but Again, we're going to have to see which ones we're keeping, which ones we're getting rid of. But so far, I think the Morphe is going to be the one that I like the most this month. So that's those. Okay, after we bronze, then we move on to blush. And I did pick out three blushes this month. So I do have this. LA Girl Velvet Blush in the shade Velour. I have this one from About Face. It's in the color Smash. And then I also pulled out this MAC Blush in the shade Format. So we're going to swatch these. I thought I picked out four blushes, but maybe not. I just picked out these three. So yeah, let's just swatch these three and see what we think about them. Okay, this is going to be the LA Girl blush. And let's see if we can get any color payoff from it. And that's what it's looking like. She's kind of pretty. Kind of red and rosy, so I don't know what I think about that. Oh, here's the other blush. This is the one from Wet n Wow and Pearlescent Pink. And let's swatch Pearlescent Pink. Okay, 
That is what pearlescent pink looks like. She has some shimmer in her. I'm not really sure if I'm a shimmer blush girl anymore. Um, so I don't know. We'll keep her for now. This about face blush. Oh, I just poked it, but let's go ahead and swatch it. It's kind of sheer when you swatch it, so I feel like it's gonna go on sheer on the face. But this is what it's swatching like. The about face. Hmm. I don't know, friend. I don't know. And then the last blush is the MAC Format. And is it going to look like a blush or a bronzer? What are you going to look like, MAC Format? Hmm. I don't know. Let's swatch you right here. Oh, she's looking like a blush. Can you see, friend? It has more of a rosy rust kind of color I don't know if this lighting is doing any justice to it for it at all I feel like you can't see it but it does look pretty good with my skin tone let me see if I can scoot back a little bit and show you so maybe is that a better view am I too close so these are all four blushes that we're gonna go with I think this MAC format is going to be my favorite for the month, but you'll have to stay tuned to the end of the month to see what I think about these, but that's those. They're not really giving me fall like I thought they was going to give me fall, but I'm going to stick to it, friend. We're not going to pull out anything else. We're just going to have to see if we can make these work, but I'm thinking format is going to be the main one I use. It's more fall out of all of them, so that's that. The highlighters that I went with are these three. And I didn't plan on using that highlighter in the Oma Beauty um, palette or one. I didn't plan on using this one, but I guess we can since we have it pulled out. So let's just swatch all of them. So this one's in... Um, brown sugar and this is the highlighter in the brown sugar and this is what brown sugar looks like mm, she's quite pretty nice and gold I like her this next highlighter is from Amuse and it says it's a bronzer but the color is given highlighter so let's swatch it oh that one is pretty okay I'm liking both of those friend gorge gorge next is this one from Kiko and it's in divine I have used this one quite a bit you can tell from the how it's looking in the pan and that's what it's looking like I'm getting different undertones. This was more yellow gold. This is more gold and this is more bronze. So all different looks I can achieve this month. And then this last one is from something I got off of Shop Miss A. Let me see if I can get it open. Okay, so we do have it open. A little paper okay we got it open it's from shop miss a and it's from it's called malibu glitz that's the brand name of it and let's see what she swatches like we'll just put her over here okay she's quite highlighty <laughs> said a word highlighty but this is what it looks like so this is the Malibu Glitz one compared to all the other ones. So they're all are given different undertones, just like everything else I've pulled out this month, which that is good. I'm actually happy because I used to go for everything the same. And I'm happy that 
everything is different. So we'll get to try different looks and see what we like. So those are so pretty. I love all of those. So yeah, that's the highlighters. I feel like this video is gonna be long. Are you still with me, friend? I hope you're still with me. These are the three eyeshadow palettes that we went for this month. And so I'll show you this first one. I'm not gonna swatch all the colors in the palette, but just a few, just so you can get an idea. This is the Chocolates by Juvia's Place. I'm gonna swatch this brown one and a matte one. Oh, this one is so pretty. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Friend, look how pretty those colors are. Oh my goodness. They are nice and chocolate and beautiful. Oh, that's definitely giving me the look I was going for. Mm-hmm. Okay, I like those. That one's going to get lots of love this month. This next one is the Too Faced Cinnamon Swirl. I just pulled this one out because I think this was part of a holiday collection one year. So I feel like I need to pull it out again. I'm going to try not to blind you. Is this better? Yeah, this is a better view of it. So what do we want to swatch here? Let's go with a matte. I'm going to do a matte. Mm, this brown. I think I'm going to use this brown matte. Oh, they are. Okay, I think I'm going to love this palette too. So let's go with that brown and then let's go with this one. So batter up and love with the bun. What did I say? Love the bun you're with. <laughs> love the bun you're with. This is those colors. Oh, I feel like it's going to be pretty, friend. Oh my God. Friend, are you seeing what I'm seeing? Oh my goodness. Oh, I mixed it. Uh oh. But you get where I'm going with this. Okay, this is going to be a nice, beautiful, chocolate, smoky type of month. Okay. I mean, that's the colors I was going for. However, I didn't know I was going to be getting the same effect. I am so impressed with this brown, with both of them. Okay. So LA Girl is the one I pulled out to give me some color. So LA Girl, don't fail me, don't fail me. Give me some color because I have all these chocolates in here. So this is the one I pulled out to give me some color. So, okay, I like it, I like it. Um, let's see how she swatches. I'm gonna go in with, let me clean my fingers good because I don't want to you know, I want to give you the real deal, the real deal. So we're going to go in with this one here. Oh, they're so buttery. They're so buttery. To be a drugstore, you would be so impressed if you can just feel what I'm feeling. But that's what it looks like. And then we're going to swatch just this lighter brown one. That's what it looks like. So let's see how it swatches on the hand. Come on, LA girl. Don't fail me now. You doing all right. You doing all right. Okay. This is going to be a good month, friend. Look at those colors. Those colors are gorgeous. This is going to be a good eyeshadow month. I am loving these that I picked out. What do you think about those? They're so pretty. So pretty. I did good. I did good. I am so happy about that. I am so pleased, I am so pleased, okay? I am so pleased with this selection. Um, what else? I'm not gonna swatch um, like the setting powders and stuff because I feel like there's no point in swatching those setting powders. I'm just gonna show you, um, show you them again up close and then we'll swatch the, the lipsticks. So yeah, let's, Oh, let's we'll watch the lip liners too because I did pick out some lip liners. So. Okay, so this is the Oma oh Beauty and I picked it up in Honey. I'm trying not to get the mirror to glare, but it's in Honey. And let me open it up. Maybe you can get a better, better color. Yeah, that's what it looks like. So we're going to use this one for the high-end setting powder of the month. 
And then this is the drugstore setting powder. This is the Black Radiance and Banana. I may have used this before. I have. Okay. So this is what the banana color looks like. So nice yellow and banana. So that's that. That's not fun stuff. So we don't have to swatch that. Setting powders. I pulled out this dark tan by MAC. It's mineralized skin finish. And this is what it looks like. Oh yeah, I've showed you this in my shop, my stash. Look how, I mean, in my makeup collection, look how flat she is. I've gotten lots of love. It's just a all over powder. I mean, can't really swatch that, but that's what she is. And then these two from Maybelline. One is the regular, one is the matte and poreless. I think this one may be better for this time of year. It's in 330 Toffee Caramel. And then I have this 355 Coconut. So this is what the 355 Coconut looks like. And let me compare it to, let me compare it to the Toffee Caramel, just so you can see the difference in the colors. So this one is more yellow, this is more brown. So this may be more like a bronzing type of powder. Let's swatch them. I'm swatching everything else. Let's just swatch them and see what they look like. So maybe we can swatch on the arm. Did that do anything? Is that worth a swatch, friend? I don't know if you can see. This one is kind of blending in more with my skin tone. This one has more of a, a red undertone. So I don't know. I'm sorry about this angle, but that's those. Mm, we'll see. We'll see. I don't think that was worth the swatch. Okay. What is left? Is there anything left? Okay. Um, setting sprays. We just pulled out these two setting sprays. I pulled out the Elf. Stay All Night Micro Mist Setting Spray. It's supposed to be a dupe to something. I can't remember. So we pulled out that one. And then we pulled out this one from the Professional by Benefit. So we have that one. Again, nothing fun. Nothing worth a swatch. Let me clean my hands. And then we will swatch the lippies and the lip liners. Comment down below, let me know, let me know if you like this type of format for it, a long version of it, showing swatches of everything, or do you want it to be like my first Shop My Stash? I don't know, friend, I'm just trying to figure this out. I'm getting new to the Shop My Stash world. But, um, okay, so these are the pencils that we chose, lip liners, I should say. So I have a lip liner from LA Colors and it's in chocolate. I also have this Morphe lip liner. It's in Trendsetter. I have this ColourPop lippy pencil and it's in BFF3. And then last but not least is this liner from Juvia's Place and it's in Cola. So uh -oh. let's swatch them all. This is the, I mean, that stained. I cleaned my hands and it don't want to come off. Like, come on. Who is that? That was the Too Faced. I had to put some, some muscle with that. Okay, that didn't want to move. So this is the Juvia's Place Cola. This is what Cola looks like. Dark. Dark chocolate, okay, I like cola. This next one is BFF3 by ColourPop. This is more of a chocolate brown. I will say this is like a dark chocolate that's more like brown. I don't know how to describe these, friends. This is Trendsetter by Morphe. Okay. That one's so smooth. I love all these pencils. I'm just going to have a good time this month. That's Trendsetter. It is close to the ColourPop one. I mean, close to the Juvia's Place one. 
And this last one was a dollar, friend. Let's see what this dollar lip pencil can do, okay? I mean, it's definitely not as creamy as the other ones. You got to put a little bit more work in it to get it to swatch and tugs a little bit. But the color is good. I like it. So these are the four lip pencils that we're going with. So cute, cute, cute. I don't think I can go wrong with any of those this month. So good choice, good choice, Crystal. Next is some lip lippies here. So I'm gonna get all the lippies over here so you can see them. And I did swatch this in my fall favorites. It's MAC Taupe. I'm gonna swatch it again just in case you didn't watch that video. But uh, let me let me find some room here. Okay, so here's taupe. Mac taupe. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I love Mac taupe. Hold on, friend. I'm gonna I'm get I'm gonna scoot you back just so you can see. Okay, there's Mac taupe. Can you see? Can you get the true effect of it? Mac taupe. That is the only lipstick I pulled out. Everything else is like lip glosses. This is a sample I got from Rare Beauty. Where I got it from, honey, I don't know. But um this is the only rare beauty lip product that I own. So let's watch it. Mmm, okay. It kind of looked like this MAC. It kind of looked like the MAC tote. Look at that. Don't they look alike? They actually look pretty similar. Maybe that's why I, I love that one. I might end up purchasing like a, a real one, you know, like a full size because I like that already. Oh, that's so pretty. So pretty. Oh, I'm sorry for all the noise. This is just a lip gloss. This is from Maybelline Lifter Gloss and it's in the shade. What shade are you? What shade are you? You are copper. This is copper. So let's swatch copper. I like making a mess here, but let's give copper a go. Well, copper is pretty. I would just use copper, just line my lips with one of these browns, and then just maybe fill it in halfway, and then use this copper to, you know, give me a little gloss. I like I like that one. I like all the Maybelline lip glosses. You can't go wrong with any of them. Next are these two from Juvia's Place. Let me open them because I haven't opened them before. So this one is in bronze chestnut. And let me swatch bronze chestnut. I have a feeling this one is gonna be beautiful. I have a feeling, I have a hunch, okay? Ooh, friend, did you see that? Oh my goodness, friend. Look at that, look at that brown. Look at that brown. Do you see how beautiful that is? I'm gonna scoot you back. Hold on, let me swatch this one. This one's in bronzed rose, okay? I'm gonna swatch, I'm gonna scoot you back and show you so you can you can see, friend. We're gonna swatch the bronze rose. Oh, this one's beautiful too. Okay. Okay, friend, look at these. Do you see these colors? Those last two or the Juvia's Place. So pretty. So, so pretty. Mm, 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 mm. That's a lot of lippies to go with for a month, but I still have two more. <laughs> I went with these two because um, I just wanted to go with these two. <laughs> these are both the NYX Butter Gloss, right? You see these two? See these two different shades? But friend, why they both are the cinnamon roll? Okay, if you know anything about NYX Butter Gloss. This was the original cinnamon roll and I didn't have it when it originally came out and then because um, NYX discontinued it. So then the people were saying give us our cinnamon roll back. We want cinnamon roll back and then NYX came out with this one and tried to fool us like this was the original cinnamon roll. But Little did they know, all the girlies who had the original was like, um, no, this is not the right cinnamon roll. Bring this one back. So then they brought the original formula back, and then I picked up both of them. And so I've never used any one of them and never been open. So let's swatch and compare and see what we think about it. 
This one is definitely a more muted, milky-like brown. You see that? And then this one, hold on, let me take it out the plastic. This other one is looking a little bit more pinky, a little bit more pinky. So let's try this one. Yeah, she's looking a little bit more pinky, but still beautiful. I still like them both. And I'm kind of glad they came out with the wrong one and then redid it, fixed it. Cause I like that second one. That one's pretty. But yeah, this is all of the lippies for the month. I think we got a pretty good selection to go with. But yeah, that's it, friend. This is all of the items that I am choosing to shop my stash. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed because there will be a get ready with me using all the products in my stash so you can see how they turned out. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.